The Armour 2.0 stream revealed many new things about the game. Today I'd like to cover things you might have missed. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the Armour 2.0 stream revealed that when Shadowkeep does arrive on October 1st, we will be getting what in my opinion is the best addition to customization this franchise has ever seen. Now I've made a video on everything you need to know about the Armour 2.0 system and how it works. That video you'll find linked within the video description. Within this video I'd like to cover things you might have missed, so let's get into it. Something I noticed off of the bat which seriously intrigued me was the fact, come Shadowkeep I believe we might be seeing a new system introduced that when we hit max power level via end game gear we can still earn power levels by earning xp this again i've made a video on and you'll find that link within the video description if you do want to check it out notice also inside of your inventory your sparrow and gold shell are now showcased behind you pretty cool we can also see the artifacts placed under the ghost too this they didn't get into within the stream so information on this we haven't received yet. Also the Glimmer has now a bigger cap of 250,000 it seems. That is quite a jump. Now the other day I made a video talking about new mods. This one here is a specific ammo finder mod. I did mention this in my video the other day. When this works in the open world the ammo boxes will have a glow to them. So you know said mods you have selected are actually working. Also a little more about mods, we noticed that certain mods have elemental symbols on them. That's because each element i.e. soul avoid and arc all have specific mods which can only be used with said energy type armor. So a void shotgun scavenger mod will only be equipable on void energy armors. I don't however think certain elemental armor groups have their own exclusive mods not the mods concerning weapons anyway. Also if you didn't notice when upgrading armor to a masterwork 10 we see two new materials to the game enhancement prisms and ascendant shards. Ascendant shards though you may remember from the water glass from destiny 1. Both of these materials you will be able to trade with the gunsmith for as we saw at the start of the stream the gunsmith has added more to his inventory with a material exchange. These two things in the middle though I have no idea what these are. Also important to mention, new mods or perks will be available for purchase from the gunsmith as you see here, but you can also get them to drop from gunsmith packages as well as world engrams. Enhanced mods will drop from endgame activities like Iron Banner and so forth. We also get a first look at a finisher. The finisher we didn't actually see within the inventory equip, so I'm betting it's maybe a part of the artifact. Also, four subclasses have received a buff. The main one we saw was the Titan's Bubble and Weapons of Light Returning. Hunter, Void Bottom Tree also received a slight buff. Grenade kills regen your smoke and making an ally invisible with your smoke regen your grenade, I believe. Pretty cool. Also, when playing in a team, your ally's subclass shows via an icon next to their name. Also, when a shadow keep drops, all armor across the entire game will drop as armor 2.0. Yes. I can now redo the escalation protocol as you guys know this armor looks incredible. Also exotics pulled from your vault will now be armor 2.0 ready. Also notice the super bar now has 4 segments. What I think we will see here is special perks, maybe unfinishers of which regen one of these 4 bars every cooldown, that would be pretty cool. I also noticed as well when they are running this strike, they only get 2 glimmer instead of 10 per standard add kill. This could be the build they are using but that really wouldn't make sense. Also something else I noticed when they were running the strike, the gameplay we see of the Lumina, the recoil looks slightly different, are they actually going to tune hand cannon recoil on console? That would be pretty sick. And lastly people, it seems as though weapons with ornaments applied to them may just show on the icon within your inventory. If we look at the Legend of Acrius being used here, it's a ton darker than the standard icon. I thought this might be the image quality but everything else looks normal besides the war cliff which also looks to have its ornament applied as the standard icon is much darker it seems and if the accuracy is appearing darker because of the quality surely the war cliff would too not appear lighter. 
And guys, that's it. If you spotted anything I missed, let me know down below within that comments section. And on that note, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like truly helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.